Welcome to the web tutorial NSOC sample design, weights, and survey design variables. First, let's go over what you can expect to learn. We will start with an overview of the design of the National Study of Caregiving, or NSOC, followed by an introduction to the NSOC weights, and a description of the NSOC survey design variables. Let's start with the NSOC sample design. NSOC is designed to represent family and unpaid caregivers to participants in the National Health and Aging Trends Study with limitations in daily activities. The cross-sectional sample represents current caregivers for persons in the current round of NHATS. The longitudinal sample, which is first available in 2017, represents the experience of a cohort of caregivers from an earlier round. NSOC uses a two-stage eligibility process. First, NHATS participants are eligible if they received help with self-care, mobility, or household activities for health or functioning reasons, or if they lived in a residential care facility. Next, family and unpaid caregivers who provided help to an eligible NHATS participant with any activity are eligible for NSOC. And if more than five caregivers are eligible for NSOC, only five are randomly selected. Next, let's review NSOC weights. Survey weights are recommended when using NSOC because individuals have different probabilities of participating. For instance, the NHAT sample was drawn using a complex design with oversampling of individuals at older ages and by race. In addition, not all individuals eligible for the study responded, and some groups are more likely to respond than others. In addition, not all responding NHATS participants provided contact information for caregivers. And not all NSOC eligible individuals were sampled or responded. So to take into account different probabilities of selection into and responding to NSOC, each NSOC participant has been assigned a weight for each round. To make unbiased inferences about older Medicare beneficiaries and not just the sample responding to NHATS, survey weights are needed. Let's take a look at the different types of weights provided. Cross-sectional weights have been created for every round of NSOC. In addition, starting in round 7, NSOC has produced cross-sectional weights for end-of-life caregivers and longitudinal tracker and longitudinal weights for caregivers interviewed in the prior round. For each type of weight, users have a full sample weight and a set of replicate weights. For each type of weight, two types have been produced full sample weights, and replicate weights. When Taylor series linearization estimation methods are used, the full sample weights should be specified together with survey design variables. When replication methods, such as the balanced repeated replication method are used, the replicate weights are specified. Note that survey design variables are not needed with replicate methods. NSOC weight variables have name specifications that we show here. Cross-sectional caregiver sample weights start with W, and longitudinal weights start with LW. They are then followed by the round number, designated here with a pound sign. All full sample weights end in WGT0, and all replicate weights end in WGT, followed by the values 1 to 56. The type of weight is highlighted in the middle, for instance, as CGFIN, which is final for living SPs, CGLML, which is the last month of life, or CGTR for the tracker. Next, let's turn to the NSOC survey design variables. Because the NSOC sample is drawn from NHATS, it is geographically clustered, with primary sampling units drawn from groups or strata. In addition, NSOC caregivers are clustered within NHATS sample persons. For analysts using the full sample weights, survey design variables should be specified to ensure that standard errors or other measures of precision are unbiased. Each round, two variables are included for this purpose. The cluster variable, indicating the primary sampling unit, or PSU, is VAR unit, and the stratum from which the PSUs were drawn is VAR strat. In addition, users may wish to take into account the clustering of NSOC participants within the NHATS participants by specifying SPID as the cluster variable. For examples and additional details, please see the NHATS technical paper, Accounting for Sample Design in NHATS and NSOC Analyses, Frequently Asked Questions, which is available from the NHATS website. 
This tutorial was produced by Men Yao Hu, Sarah Patterson, and Vicki Friedman with funding from the National Institute on Aging. This ends the web tutorial NSOC sample design, weights, and survey design variables. Comments and questions may be sent to nhatsdata at westat.com.